hunters are the ones that go out and kill. Maybe one out of ten of, of, of good fighter pilots will, will be one of the hunters, and the others will be, be hunted. Survival was an art. Making kills was a craft. Instincts took over when it was time to decide between the quick and the dead. What made some men masters of aerial combat, while others fought only to survive? What did it take to become an ace? To complete your mission as a fighter pilot, you have to disregard your own safety. It is amazing, but one can grow used to accepting that risk. I've noticed myself a phenomenon. That danger acts like a drug. You need it, you actually seek it out. And a day without danger seemed unsatisfying. I would attack only if I had 2,000 meters of clearance above them. Then I would come down with great speed and shoot them down. I would always tell my colleagues that when your windshield was filled with the enemy aircraft, that was the time to pull the trigger and to shoot. Arseny Vorozhikin, Red Air Force, 46 plus kills. While leading a handful of fighters deep inside enemy territory, he spots an armada of German bombers and fighters. Retreat is not in Vorozhikin's dictionary. We went around from the back. The sun was shining from the side of the enemy. We made the turn. They didn't see us. Now the sun was shining behind us also. I gave the order to attack the enemy fighters all at once. Two of them went down in flames right away. Three of them somersaulted around in the air after they were hit. The other fighters who didn't expect this, all of them dove down. And they left the bombers without protection, without cover. Cocky, self-assured, the fighter ace thinks only of victory. Defeat is for the enemy. Harry Brody Broadhurst, Royal Air Force, 12 kills. He will become Britain's youngest air vice marshal and later a knight of the British Empire. Risking their necks is part of the game, I suppose. I mean, I had fast motor cars and fast motorbikes. When I wasn't crashing aeroplanes, I was crashing motorbikes. It was all part of the game. Saburo Sakai, Imperial Japanese Naval Air Force, 64 kills. Sakai nearly dies of severe head wounds early in the war when American bullets rip into his cockpit. But he recovers to become one of Japan's top fighter aces. No matter how many of the enemy's planes I shot down, my personal power was very limited. To my unit men, my colleagues, teaching how to shoot down a plane, how many aces I could create, was the thing I devoted my time to more than how many planes I personally shot down. these Japanese fighter pilots making a head-on pass at me. I can see his guns firing and I'm firing my guns. We knew that we were in it for, for keeps. It was a game. And if you won out, why, congratulations. You got a $500 bonus. And uh, of course, if you lost, you got a funeral. It was an all-out situation. We weren't out there playing tiddlywinks. We were out there to, to kill people. And they were out there to kill us. And we were out there to take back things from them that they had taken from us. 